The United States, Japan, Australia and the Philippines held a maritime exercise in the South China Sea. The drills aimed at supporting a free and open Indo-Pacific against the backdrop of China's growing assertiveness in the region. In response to the drills, China also conducted air and sea patrols in the disputed waters. The one-day maritime exercise of the four countries involved warships including the littoral combat ship USS Mobile, Australian frigate and Japanese destroyer, along with two Philippines warships. The exercises involved submarine warfare training and communication activities in Manila's exclusive economic zone. According to a joint statement by the four security partners, the drills strengthen the interoperability of the country's armed forces. Without mentioning Beijing, the four countries reaffirmed their position that the 2016 South China Sea Arbitral Tribunal Award is legally binding. Remember, this is the ruling that stated that Beijing's claims in South China Sea have no legal basis. However, China refuses to accept the Permanent Court of Arbitration's 2016 ruling. A Chinese statement also said it has also organized patrols and all military activities that disrupt the South China Sea are under control. However, it did not mention the United States or the joint exercise. Apart from China, the Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, Taiwan and Vietnam also lay claims to disputed parts in the South China Sea. The drills come after a recent encounter between Filipino vessels and Chinese Coast Guard near Spratly Islands. Manila accused Beijing of harassing its fishermen again, while China said it responded appropriately to the Philippines' illegal activity. Against this background, Australia, UK and the United States are set to begin talks on bringing new members into their AUKUS security pact. Washington is pushing for Japan's membership as a deterrent against China. The countries will announce discussions on the expansion of Pillar 2 of the Security Pact on Monday. The second pillar deals with developing quantum computing, undersea, hypersonic artificial intelligence and cyber, uh, cyber technology. The AUKUS nations are, however, not considering the expansion of Pillar 1 that deals with delivering nuclear-powered attack submarines to Australia. Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will likely discuss AUKUS expansion when the President hosts the Prime Minister in Washington on Wednesday. According to reports, Biden, Kishida and the Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. are to hold a trilateral summit on Thursday. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.